Hello, everybody. Welcome to our demo of the partial disposition calculator. The partial disposition calculator was created to help estimate the unadjusted depreciable basis of a building component that has been disposed of in order to claim a partial disposition deduction. Our calculator uses a discounting method, which is allowed by the IRS, using the producer price index. We take the current replacement cost of the new component and discount it back to the old components placed in service date while also considering the condition of the respective component at the time it was acquired. This is accomplished by considering the component's normal life and effective age. In this video, I'm going to use a straightforward study to demonstrate how it works. Let's say that we have a John Doe who bought a commercial building in October 2004 for a million dollars. And he decides to replace the aluminum windows in that building in t October of 2015 for $50,000. Now that we have everything here, we can hit calculate. Using this information and the producer price index, the software determined that the estimated cost of the windows in 2004 is $39,563. However, this amount reflects the cost of a brand new window or brand new windows in 2004. Because we know the windows only lasted 11 years from the time the building was acquired, we have to account for the condition of the old windows at the time of purchase. This should result in a value less than 39,563. And to do that, the software uses valuation concepts to determine the normal life and effective age of the windows in order to come up with an appropriate condition factor. For aluminum windows, our database assigns a normal life of 20 years. Because the windows lasted 11 years from the time they were acquired, we calculate that the effective age of the windows is 9 years. Using this data and the condition assessment tables, we can determine that the appropriate condition factor is 64%. When we apply this 64% condition factor to the result, we come up with a condition-adjusted PPI cost of component removed of $25,320. The calculator can also determine the accumulated depreciation on the component removed as long as you input the building's original tax basis and the accumulated depreciation on the building. So with the case study that we just went over, if I put a million dollars here and let's say a hundred and thirty thousand dollars here and then I hit calculate we can see that the accumulated depreciation for the component removed has changed from zero to three thousand two hundred and ninety two dollars Please note that our calculator does not use depreciation tables to calculate this number. It takes a ratio of your building's accumulated depreciation and divides it by the original tax basis and then multiplies that by the PPI adjusted cost of the component removed. If for any reason you don't want to apply a condition factor to your calculation, you can go to the unadjusted calculation tab and print that out. Finally, it's important to note that IRS rules only allow the PPI rollback method for restorations and not for betterments or adaptations. For more information on this subject, please consult your tax advisor. Thank you for joining us for the KBKG Partial Disposition Calculator demo. If you have any questions, please call or email us at the number and email below.